Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use our fully integrated environment Fidelity in short videos of a few minutes. Today, we'll discuss how to generate unstructured meshes with multi-block matching connections. Fidelity Hexpress includes several options for generating multi-block meshes with matching connections. Users can either predefine interfaces or use the automatic interface generation method. First, let's have a look at how to predefine matching connections between blocks. In the geometry context of Fidelity Hexpress, I have imported a water-cooled plate CAD configuration which contains water-fueled pipes inside a solid body. The flow of water inside these pipes to an external heating or cooling device allows precise temperature control of the solid body. The imported CAD geometry includes an outside wall, an inside wall, pipe caps, an inlet, and an outlet, which allows water to be pumped through and circulated. In the domain context, two domains are created using the same geometry. One for the solid body, named Domain Solid, and one for the fluid body, named Domain Fluid. The domain solid should contain only the outside wall and the inside wall. On the other hand, the domain fluid should not contain the outside wall. The next step is to define the location of the seed point for each of the domains. This will indicate where the mesh will be generated. We can simply relocate each seed point anywhere inside each of the domains. The only recommendation is to put the seed point far away from any boundary. The last step is to define the connection between these two domains by clicking on the Connection Manager icon. The task here is to create a new connection and assign the inside wall of each domain either to the left or to the right side of the interface. The type of connection is defined by setting the mesh connection type drop down menu to matching. We can now move to the mesh context where a Hexpress mesh setup containing both domains is created. In the case of predefined multi-block matching connections, the use seed point option at the domain level under the domain tab is always activated. The option split domain into parts allows specifying if the existing domains can be split into several domains during the mesh generation process. The settings of the mesh setup follow the usual workflow by defining the initial cell size, local refinements, proximity refinements, or others. The result is a multi-domain mesh with fully matching connections between the solid and fluid blocks. A view from a cutting plane shows the node matching interface. The method of automatic interfaces generation represents a better alternative for complex cases where the appropriate definition of blocks and connections would be too time consuming. In this case, we don't need to define any connection in the domain context. In the mesh context, we now have the possibility to deactivate the use seed point option which is recommended for domains with very sharp angles or very narrow gaps. With this configuration, the cell marking is applied from outside, hence the domain seed point and all internal faces are ignored during the mesh generation. The result of this mesh setup is similar to before. A multi-domain mesh with fully matching connections between the solid and fluid blocks is generated. Note that the matching connection is automatically generated in the domain context. From here, we could then set up a CHD computation in the simulation context, but this is the topic of another Tutorial Tuesday episode. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming content like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a great Tuesday.